Hi tribe, this is Jax with Nomadic Wonders and Temple Health. And today we're gonna have a chit chat about linen. If you have gone through my um, level one, level two, and level three programs, you are probably aware that I speak about linen and why I um, promote wearing linen as much as possible, especially during this time where we are in inundated with frequencies, radiation, electrical magnetic frequencies like the EMF that comes off your phones and the laptops and iPads. So today we're just gonna have a chit chat about linen. So what's linen? Well, linen comes from flax. If you're familiar with flax seeds, that is the plant that linen comes from. All right, so here I have some linen pieces that I found at the Goodwill. That is a tip there. If you want um, very cheap linen fabrics, the Goodwill thrift shops are a place to go and treasure hunt. So I found this at the Goodwill, 100% linen. So I always, you can look at the tag, if it says 100% linen, that you found treasure. All, here's another one. And the nice thing about linen is that it doesn't matter the size. If you get any size, you can actually make these into children's garments, pillowcases, bags. You know, if you know how to sew or know somebody that knows how to sew, then you have um, struck gold. And here's a pair of pants. I think I got this from a linen market, I can't remember. But these are cute. And that dress, so linen. So this chit chat is all about linen. I wanted just to show you some of the garments that I have in my closet. And I am currently switching out most of my closet into 100% linen. Now you can do linen and cotton mix. Um, that's completely fine. And we'll go more into that, why that's okay. Now over here, I have some research that I have done over the years. And I did a write up maybe to eight years ago about linen. And I just kept it in my in my war documents for a long time and it wasn't until recently till maybe this year well maybe last year is when i printed it out and i started teaching about it or just not even teaching about it, just kind of bringing awareness to linen okay all right so let's start with why linen okay as we mentioned right now in this matrix in this world that we live in we are being hit by so many um emfs electrical magnetic frequencies all over okay linen is a natural protector it's a neutralizer of emf okay one thing i'm just going to read from the scientific details that i found on linen okay something important in 2003 a study by jewish doctor heidi yellen okay her study concluded that um, the signature atomic frequency of the human body is a hundred Okay, that's the same as cotton. Okay, this brings me back to my point why cotton is okay. Anything less than 100, according to this study, it, it showed that it put a strain in the human body. So anything less than 100, like polyester, is going to put a strain on your body. It's not gonna promote healing. And everything we wanna put on our bodies, we want to help heal and protect, and it becomes a shield on us, okay? All right, let me keep reading. Uh, a deceased, nearly dead person has a frequency of about 15. And that is where polyester, rayon, and silk register. So we don't want to be putting those type of materials on our body, especially if we want to enhance and raise the frequency, atomic frequency of our cells to promote healing. Non-organic cotton registers as a signature of 70. Um, and organic is 100. So always go for the 100% organic cotton if you cannot find linen okay cotton is not going to have any bad side effects from wearing it as polyester would the atomic frequency of linen is 5,000 that is a lot that is going to raise the atomic frequency in your body so that you can heal yourself to protect yourself not only is linen anti um, bacteria antivirals I can't say the other word so whatever it protects you from diseases as far as you know becoming in contact with them in the air okay so if you're sick and you're trying to raise your atomic frequency to get yourself to heal faster it is linen that i would promote to wear on your body to promote that healing faster my goodness okay 
wool is another um, fabric. We don't have any wool here, but it's also a 5,000. And But I'm going to bring that up because according to scripture, if you follow the Bible, it actually does talk about linen and wool. In Deuteronomy 22, it talks about not mixing wool and linen. Why is that, you ask? Because wool is also 5,000 as far as the atomic frequency of wool. It's going to cancel each other out, okay? And I think everything that we're told to do is for our good and for, to promote health and promote shalom. All right, so we want to make sure that wool we keep for the winter and we wear linen during the summer and the heat times. All right, as far as science goes, the frequency was determined by a technician who used a digital instrument designed by a retired Texas A&M professor. And I guess the, um, the machine is called Ag Environ machine. Um, Bob Graham was the inventor of that machine and he told us it was created to an analyze the signature frequencies of agricultural commodities to aid the farmer in de determining the right times of harvest growth. And it also identified the signature frequencies that identified illnesses, so different illnesses of different frequencies. It's interesting, like different plants, herbs, materials, everything has an atomic frequency. All right, it can be measured, it can be seen, okay? I, I believe that's how the bats, birds, bees, they all communicate with those frequencies. They follow those waves. And even my rooster has a frequency, if you heard it in the background. According to Bob Graham, he made this um, machine to identify the frequencies of specific plants. The MHZ, which is the megahertz, uh, is different. We are. Uh, we were suggested that it would be the same as rose essential oils. So the the um, essential oils and linen have a different, as far as the plants, the, everything has its own um, signature frequency. I think that's the point of that little um, paragraph. All right, let me see if there's anything in here that you guys need to know. But what I'm going to invite you to do is go ahead and type in scientific details of linen frequency study, and you will get into this page. So you go ahead and do your own research and learn. Point, the linen signature frequency is 5,000. That's what we need it for, okay? It's antimicrobial. It protects us from the EMFs, okay? Also, it is a very cooling fabric. It dries super fast. So you don't want anything that's gonna be sweaty and sticks because when anything's wet, that's when microbes grow and bacteria grows. So this is a very um, easy, greasy type of material to wear, especially in the summertime. So a time for using measurement of linen fabric was 5,000. The measurement of wool is 5,000. Frequency of cotton, according to this study, is 40, and organic and bleach cotton measures 100. Get this, plastic materials such as polyester, acrylic, spandex, uh, I think it's called lycra, viscose, and nylon measure at zero, okay? So the Bible doesn't talk about not necessarily mixing cotton and other um, fabrics. It just talks about specifically wool and linen, so we want to just clarify that there are some cotton linen mixtures out there that you can find and if that's the route you're going that's completely fine I don't think that's gonna put any um, strain in your body and it's not gonna cancel anything out especially according to the, the study anything below a hundred is gonna be strenuous on the body but cotton especially organic cotton 100% 100% 100% cotton organic is gonna be okay now, let's talk about rayon. I see a lot of rayon in new age um, health food type of shops. And rayon, even though it's made of wood um, and bamboo fiber, it only measures at 15. So keep that in mind when you're buying um, rayon. Just keep that in mind. All right, so let's read a couple more things before we wrap it up in here. All right, so some amazing facts about linen. I'm just gonna read it right from my research here by Rodney Pira, Pira? I think that's how you say his name. Linen, the strongest of all vegetables fiber. So it's gonna be durable. You want something that's durable and it's gonna last times, the age of times, the last times, okay. You can fall asleep faster. Okay, sleep deeper. Wake up in a better mood after um, sleeping in linen. 
There's a blurb right here about no fabric can outperform linen in natural strength, luster, or durability. Yes, especially if you're going to be outside working on the garden or doing a lot of physical where you want your clothing, especially in these times as we're trying to kind of, you know, not be so dependent on um, what I call the matrix and we want to be more um, self-sustainable, linen is going to, you know, last you a little bit longer. All right, so you're gonna, you know, you can sleep in it. As far as the high energy, quote unquote, to bring the um, the frequency of your foods, it's gonna be around you. Surround yourself with linens, tablecloths, um, table napkins, your bed, your bedding, linen. Why would you not want to sleep in something that's gonna raise the um, atomic frequency to um, promote healing? Okay, so linen is also hypoallergenic according to this study. It's helpful for those who have allergies. Linen is going to not only protect you from our environment, it's going to promote healing in the body, it's going to raise your atomic frequency, it's going to almost become a shield, you know, in for the times that we're living. Okay. All right, so that's all I have for you guys as far as linen and can't wait to chit chat about wool next time. All right, shalom. An antimicrobial, microbial, <laughs> microbial.